if this is your first time checking out a video, welcome to my Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I'm Nightmare Nando, and every week we open and look at some new things that are coming out from the Nightmare Before Christmas. If you've already subscribed, Welcome back to the Collectibles community. Today is part three of our Funko 30th Anniversary Merch Haul, featuring Loungefly. Let's get into it. First off, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Asher's Fun 3880 for reminding me that Funko came out with the plushies. Here they are in all their glory. The Funko Shop released four, and one was exclusive to Box Lunch. Let's take a closer look. The first two we've got is Pumpkin King Jack and Sally. These were released on Funko.com. Here she is up close with her 30th anniversary tag. Here's the back. If you got the Funko plushies in a different year, maybe for the 25th anniversary, the only difference are the tags. Here's Pumpkin King Jack, who looks really cute. And here's the back. His face kind of reminds me of Invader Zim here. Next, we've got Santa Jack and Zero. Here is Santa Jack up close. He's got an awesome buckle detail under his beard. And here's the back. He's got the softest hat. Here is Zero up close with his tag, and here's the back. I love the proportions of his head and body. He looks so cute. And the Funko plush exclusive to Box Lunch, Jack Skellington. Here he is up close. You can see his tag does say Box Lunch exclusive. He's got bow tie detailing, and here is the back. Okay guys, so now we're down to our last three Funko Pops, which are our sodas. If you follow me on social media, you'll see that we opened these a few weeks ago right outside the Hot Topic store when we found them. These were the last two sodas, and this is what we got. We ended up pulling a common and a chase. Check them out. Again, these were the last two pops at my Hot Topic, and we pulled one of each. The detailing is so cool. And here are the pucks that go with the Funko Pops. I love how they change the color and the illustration to show the chase versus the common. They look really cool. I haven't picked up any Sally's yet, but when I do, I'll be sure to share them with you. Next, we've got the beautiful three liter Oogie Boogie Soda. As you can see, it's a Funko.com exclusive. This three liter soda is limited to 1500 pieces 12,500 are commons, and only 2,500 are the Chase glow-in-the-dark variant. This is the figure that we will see inside. Hopefully, we pull the glow-in-the-dark Chase. Let's open it up. It's got a little tab there with perforated plastic. So I'm gonna pop it off of its base, so all we have to do is lift the top. All right, are you ready for the big reveal? One, two, three. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. So, here is the three liter Oogie Boogie Soda Pop. Inside, we've got the pop and we've got the puck. The chase is supposed to glow in the dark, so I guess we really don't know unless we turn off the lights or we open up the puck. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, here we've got Oogie Boogie with his dice and bugs. I love the detailing of the bugs popping out of his seams right here by his arm and over here off of his side. This is what he looks like from the back. And here is the detailing of the bottom. I will say the green coloring is a little light, which I hope is a good thing, meaning that he's going to glow in the dark. Let's find out by opening up the puck. Okay guys, it's time to find out if we got the chase. One, two, three. Ugh, we got a common. The commons are out of 12,500. And the back, we've got a beautiful picture of Oogie Boogie. This puck is huge compared to the regular sodas. And so is the figure. It's so cool. Way to go, Funko. I really like this Oogie Boogie Soda Pop. Next, we've got some Pocket Pop keychains. Let's check them out in more detail. This is actually my first time opening up a Pocket Pop. This right here is the Pocket Pop version of the Funko number 1357 Pumpkin King Jack. 
right off the bat, I do have to say I love that there is a clip on this keychain. You could technically clip these on to just about anything. You can still see all of the detail of the flames, his fingers, and the cobblestone street. Here is the back where you can see that he is still standing on one foot and you can see the motion of the coattails. I do have to say that he is still my favorite Funko Pop that's been released this year. Next, we've got Jack Skellington and the Gravestone. This is the miniature version of Funko Pop number 1355. I don't know if it's just my keychain, but he's missing one too many teeth for my liking. And here he is up close. You can see the awesome detailing of the tombstone. Here is the back where you can see his coattails and the awesome texture of the floor. Next, we have Jack Skellington dressed, who is the miniature version of Funko Pop number 1381. And this is what he looks like up close. We've got awesome detailing on his suit. The colors are beautiful and he still has the awesome pose. Here is the back. You can see he's in a lunge and you can actually see each of his fingers. Overall, I'm really impressed with the detail they managed to fit inside such a small pop. And here they are one more time. Just like the Funko Soda, I am missing Sally dressed so I can't wait to find her and add her to the collection soon. All right, guys, next we've got a couple lounge fly bags that came in the mail. Let's check them out. Okay, guys, first we were able to get the Scary Duck lounge fly bag. This bag sold out in just a few hours. There are so many little details that really just make it a nice piece. Here it is a little more up close. You can see the detailing of his head and body, both of which are small bags. Here you can see it's officially licensed. They slapped on a little 30th anniversary sticker to the tag. And you can see more detailing of the duck. Bonus points to anyone who remembers who worked on the duck during making Christmas. So when you wear this bag across your body, it hangs just like this, which is so cool. Once you open up the bag, you can see an awesome lime green lining with Vampire Teddy, some awesome jack-o'-lanterns, and the Nightmare Before Christmas 30th anniversary logo all inside. I love the fact that they got the logo on the fabric and in the inside of the bag. And his head is a small pouch too. You can unzip the top and manage to put in a couple items. Again, you can see Vampire Teddy and that awesome lime green lining. This fanny pack used to be my go-to park bag, but I think we have a new winner. Last but not least, we've got the best lounge fly bag I think I've ever seen. This is the Stitch Shop Nightmare Before Christmas Zero Glow in the Dark Cross Body Bag. This thing looks amazing. I feel like I have my own pet zero and I love it. And here he is up close in more detail. You can see the Stitch Shop Loungefly logo, the amazing details of his head, and here is the other side. Right here where the logo is located is the secret flap held together by a magnet where you can open up to reveal the inside of the bag. Right now, he just has his little strap in there and the packing paper. The inside of this bag is decorated with a couple different illustrations of Zero and his doghouse. It does not include the 30th anniversary logo. And when you attach his straps, he becomes an awesome crossbody bag. Overall, this bag is awesome. The one detail I would say is the nose. Zero's nose does not have a little jackal in which is important because this is how Zero guides Jack's sleigh. I know that probably would have been more stitching, but come on. I didn't know this, but it also comes with a pin. The pin is Zero on top of a jack-o'-lantern that looks like Jack, which looks like another lounge fly bag that was released last year. This bag here, which also glows in the dark. It's got an awesome Jack Skellington pinstripe strap. His eyes, nose, and mouth glow in the dark. And on the back, you can see the Nightmare Before Christmas logo. Once you open it up, you can see he's filled with illustrations of Jack Skellington, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, and some candy. You know we have to check out the glow on these bags. And here they are completely in the dark. I have to say they look amazing. This zero lights up so well. It does say on the tag that he glows best under black light, but he looks so cool when charged up. 
Here's our black light, and this is how I'm charging him up. Here they are one more time. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, that's been our haul for this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and share this video with your friends so that we can grow our NBC Collectibles community. And since we're right in the middle of the 30th anniversary celebration, be sure to stick around for more content as new things arrive.